Hello everyone, my name is Megan Mann and I am WARM's program manager. I wanted to make this short video to give you a heads up of what it will be like if you want to volunteer at one of our ESL conversation times. Let's get started. But some of the common questions that we get asked are, what are we going to do there? What can I expect? What's the schedule like? And that's a great question. So at our English conversation times, we gather together and we start to do tutoring for an hour and a half. Now during that hour and a half, you are more than welcome to get up, stretch your legs, take a brain break, get some of the snacks and refreshments that we provide each week, and uh, really treat this as a casual time. You may be wondering, will I be matched with a student? How will I know who to work with? These are also great questions. So when you come to our English conversation time, you will be matched with whoever comes that week. So because it's a drop-in event, different people come each week. Now there may be some, and there are some, that come very consistently, and we love that. We love seeing them each week and hearing updates about how their life's going, and so you may work with the same person week after week. But that's not always how it works, and so be ready to be flexible with new learners each week. Another great question is, do I need ESL experience before coming to volunteer? at this English conversation time? And the answer is no. I want to put your mind to rest that you don't need any previous experience with ESL to come and volunteer. All you need is to love people, to want to encourage people in their English learning journey, and to also speak English yourself. And so if you have those three things, you're good to come. We'd love to have you. You may also be wondering, what if they don't speak English? How do I communicate and teach them and help them? And that is also a great question. So this is something I've wondered myself. It can be really intimidating, but we don't have to be intimidated by it. There's many things we can do to make it go easier. So one of the things is to use your smartphone or laptop as a translation tool. So there are apps, and I would recommend Google Translate as one that is pretty good for a lot of languages that you can get to help learn some of the direction. Now, we want them to learn English, so you want to make sure that you're not translating everything to their language because that won't help them learn very well. So you also can use things like hand gestures, pointing at pictures, and explaining things using your body language as well. If you get really stuck, don't worry. We have ESL coordinators that are there that will help you uh, to understand what's going on and be able to communicate clearly. At the end of each of our sessions, we ask that the tutor fills out an evaluation form for the student. Now this isn't a grade that the student gets, of course, but this is a way that we keep track of what the student has been working on and what direction they would really like to improve in in the future weeks. So this is very helpful for if a tutor can't come every week and if a student works with a different tutor each week. That way we can stay on the same page and help the student reach their goals in the most effective way. There are many ways that you can help an English language learner thrive at our English conversation time. One of them is helping them with the workbooks that they bring. So a lot of the students are in various ESL programs that use workbooks and so we help them to understand what's in the workbook and get their homework done in a confident way. Uh, we also have books and um, things that they can use visually to learn. We have flashcards, paper, pencils, lots of fun learning tools for them. So don't worry about bringing anything, just bring yourself. And the most important thing to remember is please have fun. Please don't put pressure on yourself to be perfect. We really, really believe that relationships are so much more important than performance and so please come be yourself share yourself and really enjoy getting to know these refugees they're some of my best friends and have changed my life forever they have my back 100 percent and i know that once you get to know them they'll have yours as well so thank you again for considering volunteering with our english conversation time and i can't wait to see you there have a great day